what is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on the future of Marvel. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. We do videos about Marvel pop culture stuff all week long. So there's a bit of confusion after Avengers Endgame. For some reason, the general public seem to think that the Marvel franchise is over because Endgame was called Endgame implying the end of the franchise. No guys, this is not the case. We have Spider-Man Far From Home coming this year in July. Next year, there's two movies. The year after that, there's three. The year after that, there's three. So Marvel needs to hurry up and come out with the slate for the next phase because fans are confused and have no idea what's coming next. Obviously, we know that both Robert Iger, a.k.a. Bob Iger, and Kevin Feige have said this summer they will be revealing the next phase of Marvel movies. But that doesn't really help the general public. So, guys, don't worry. There are Marvel movies coming for the next 5 to 10 to 20 years, they're going to keep rolling. I mean, Endgame's recently hit 2.1 billion. So the superhero movies are just getting started, really. So I am giving away a Hasbro Infinity Gauntlet, the Marvel Legends one. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel with notifications on. That will be pretty cool. And let me know down below. What do you think about the future of Marvel? So we know Marvel Phase 4 will be going more cosmic with the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the Thor and them kind of movies, and then you're going to have the street-level movies like Spider-Man and at least the next Spider-Man, Spider-Man 3, because after Far From Home, Tom Holland has at least one more movie in his contract, which would be Spider-Man 3, which will probably be called Graduation. That sounds the most realistic title. So, there is some news coming out about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is very, very interesting. So, we recently spoke on this channel about Chris Hemsworth re-signing his contract with Thor, who signed with Marvel for five movies in 2010, then renegotiated in 2017 for Infinity War and Endgame, putting himself in the 15 to 20 million money range, which is pretty low for a cool actor like him, ready for the next phase of films. So he will be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the way Endgame finishes. He goes off with them. And what is funny is no one has mentioned it, that Star-Lord's back on Earth and no one made a big deal about it. So we've got a lot of details coming out about what potentially is going to be happening in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. But as we know, as I said in my Endgame review, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 could be changed to As Guardians of the Galaxy because that is a direct correlation to a comic book. So let's get in this. So there is a rumor that has come out from Twitter, but it's from someone who was correct about major plot points for Endgame. The person literally tweeted it months back in December, months before the movie came out, and he was absolutely spot on with everything that he said. So he said this, Rocket's creator is the high evolutionary. Drax is in for a big surprise when he discovers his daughter is alive. That is pretty interesting because, as we know, Drax has been going around saying that Thanos killed his whole family. Rocket also gets a love interest in the form of Lila. Nebula and Star-Lord will grow into close ends, which is interesting because, obviously, they kind of weren't start off with. So, earlier, saw a bunch of Guardians of the Galaxy 3 rumors mentioning, just like we said, the High Evolutional is responsible for the creation of Rocket Raccoon. That is probably one of the biggest mysteries in the MCU, who created Rocket Raccoon. So, the latest rumor mill is saying this, none other than the fan favorite, Beta Ray Bill, would be another of the high evolutional experiments and will meet Thor in this movie. Recall the scene during Thor Ragnarok. I will display a picture over, over the top. Beta Ray Bill's face was on the top of the tower, meaning that Beta Ray Bill is a former champion of the Grand Master. What is also interesting is that the end of the graphic novel, the same name is awesome. Obviously, James Gunn will be going a different route from the comics per the norm, but simply including anything from Beta Ray Bill will be pretty sweet. And this is where this rumor comes out, and it's actually pretty interesting. So Guardians of the Galaxy 3, based on the rumor when it comes to the MCU, a single franchise has yet to receive four movies. Guardians of the Galaxy 3 likely won't be any different, but with the story James Gunn has set to wrap with three movies, it is ideal for Marvel Studios to change things up from the cosmic point of view. 
That's why they could introduce and include Thor in this movie with the likes of Beta, Ray, Bill, also Quasar, which could be interesting if this does happen. Uh, some of these cosmic characters were previously owned by Fox. Obviously, this frees up a lot of new characters that could come through. Obviously, we know that James Gunn does have to wrap up Suicide Squad 2, but it is rumored that as Guardians of the Galaxy 3 or Guardians of the Galaxy 3 will actually start shooting in 2020, which is next year. What is interesting is Zac Efron, who is amazing, uh, has been rumored to be playing multiple characters. So the latest rumor is Zac Efron will be playing, wait for it, Beta Ray Bill. Or the more common reasoning is he's going to actually be playing Adam Warlock, which would be a much suited role for him. Now, regarding Zac Efron, it is yet again rumored that Efron wanted to play Adam Warlock for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. No further details are known, but a previous rumor that offered Lucas Till was also up for the role. Regarding Zac Efron playing Adam Warlock, he might actually be able to pull it off as his perfect look required for Adam Warlock. He's got the aesthetic, pleasing look. He was also pretty good in the most recent Ted Bundy movie that is on Netflix, the extremely wicked, shockingly evil and vile. If you are a fan of this channel, I've always thought that Zac Efron can play any role. I guess Adam Warlock will have a bit of an ego. He will be full of himself. And as we know, Zac Efron does have his own YouTube channel and he's in pretty awesome shape. Adam was actually already introduced during the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, although this was in a cocoon point of view. If they're going to stick with the same continuity, then Adam Warlock will be introduced, as well as some of the likes of Quasar and Nova. Quasar is one of the MCU favorites for characters to come in, so let's hope that Gunn throws some cosmic fans into this. It would be very interesting. If he does decide to go down that route with Drax's daughter possibly still being alive in the movie, it's probably Moondragon. Fans of the comics know that Philly and Moondragon are in a relationship together. So possibly Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 could feature some of that. Um, which would be interesting. We should also probably bring that Philly is created offspring of Captain Marvel, so they could change up things there. And there is a lot of stuff that they could bring in, as Guardians of the Galaxy comics do offer a lot of Beta Ray Bill stuff. It is known that Thor and Beta Ray Bill have had a fight before, so that could be another interesting aspect they could bring in. Um, as it's been said, Nova was supposed to be set up in Endgame. Nova was supposed to have a fight with Thanos. This could be pulled. Richard Ryder, Nova could be pulled into Guns of the Galaxy Volume 3. It is unknown, but as we said before, the Avengers was supposed to set up Nova, which is similar to the Annihilation comic run. Joe Russo also recently said that Gunn should handle Nova, so we'll have to wait and see. Additional rumors indicate that Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 will see Star-Lord and Nebula become close. They will search for Gamora. The Rocket, Raccoon, Soulmate, Lila will be in the movie. And again, Drax finds his daughter in the comics. She is known as Heather, aka Moondragon. So there is a lot of stuff. But what is interesting is the Beta Ray Bill, Zac Efron for Adam Warlock, Quasar rumors did come from 4chan. So bear in mind that 4chan rumors for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 were legit when it comes to the aspect of Adam Warlock appearing, although we didn't actually physically see him. He was there. So James Gunn will pick up from where Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 ended. Obviously, Infinity War and Endgame have already happened. So it will feature some alliteration of the team as we know. So if any of the rumors are true, possibly the, th the third movie could include Adam Warlock, Quasar, Nova, and a bunch of other characters. This Roger guy on Twitter seems to be legit. Seems to have a lot of insiders, you know, the people from Deadline and Variety and all these kind of websites. The people that come out with scoops, they all seem to follow him for a reason. He was right about Endgame. So he could be right about major plot points for 
Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, if they're going to call it that. Maybe they'll go with As Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I'm not really sure. But it does seem that Thor has renewed a contract. And the way they left Endgame was probably done during reshoots. It looks like Thor will be joining them. And maybe they can find Loki somewhere. You know, the Loki that disappeared um, in Endgame. Maybe they can find Loki somewhere. Or maybe that Loki series on the Disney streaming service would pick up from where it ended in Endgame. So that's going to be very interesting. So let me know, guys. Who would you cast as Nova? Who would you cast as Adam Warlock? Who would you cast as Beta Ray Bill? And who would you class as Quasar? Now, I think Zac Efron could play an awesome Nova, an awesome Adam Warlock, and also an awesome Beta Ray Bill. If that is the way they're going to go down, it would be pretty cool because there's been some epic theories on Reddit about Beta Ray Bill appearing in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 or appearing in another cosmic universe kind of based movie although we do have captain marvel 2 also coming so all these characters could appear in any movie so let me know who would you cast for beta ray bill adam warlock quasar it's 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 a good time for marvel fans just marvel need to hurry up they really do need to hurry up and let people know that there are more movies coming because there's a lot of confusion in the fandom about is marvel even making any movies we do know there's a bunch of disney streaming services coming the loki tv show the bucky and falcon tv show the Scarlet Vision. There's a lot of confusion in the fandom about how it's going to come out because Marvel haven't actually said anything. So it is confusing. I can understand how general fans are a bit confused. With a title like Endgame, it does imply that it's the end of everything. But once again, it would be really cool if the Easter egg from Thor 3 you know, Beta Ray Bill being one of the former champions would turn out to be something that could happen during Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I'm not saying he's going to be the main villain, but he's more of a hero. But he could go up against Thor. Obviously, in the comics, Beta Ray Bill is the owner of Stormbreaker. We do know that, obviously, Stormbreaker does not have an enchantment on it anymore because, obviously, Odin's not around, so you just have to be strong enough to carry it so maybe they could fight for Stormbreaker. It would be pretty interesting if that was a storyline that would go down. As said, in the comic, Stormbreaker belongs to Beta Ray Bill in the graphic novel, which obviously James Gunn will be have to go down a different route to include that. But it would be pretty sweet. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch ya later.